the handoff, got a hole left side, 35. To the 30, got a block, 25, 20, he's on his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Steven Jackson. Great jump cut, 45 feet. The hole burst to it, 20. Nice step to tackle, run flat, 25, still on his feet. 46 yard goal by number 39. I ran with a digger that was not friendly on Sundays. This is a big physical running back. As Steven Jackson willed his way through some of the best linebackers in the game. And Corey Holt's going for a ride. Why not? When I had a chance to get the ball, it was my opportunity to inflict my will. It was my opportunity in that moment to make X amount of millions watching say, whoa. Coming out of Oregon State, the rap was obviously I was a downhill runner, very explosive, particularly for my size. Second down and three, Steven Jackson in the game, the first round draft pick, and the gift to Jackson, picks up the first down and more. Watch out, he's a horse, still on his feet. This guy is gonna be a franchise back. A guy that's 6'2", 200 some 30 pounds, was rare. Jackson's the first back taken in this last year's draft. He walked into our meeting room last night, and I thought, there's no way this guy's a running back. He's too big for that. There was a lot of question marks about my ability, but given the ball in my hands, I think they believed what I could do with it. And this is still Marshall Falk's team, and he comes out whenever he wants to blow, but I don't think Marshall Falk wants to come out on too many plays when this Steve Jackson can line up and run the ball like that. I never in a million years thought I would end up in St. Louis just because they had a guy named Marshall Falk there. Hand off to Marshall Falk, finds a hole, 35. Competing for the same job, it made our, our relationship out the gate hairy. I was a guy that came in, although humble enough to want to learn, at the same time I felt that if I showed that I was better than someone, it shouldn't really matter what the name said on the back of the jersey. I wanted the same chance to play. Steven Jackson, nice hands out of the backfield. Jackson caught from behind, but a nice run after the catch and a gain of 21. And he can just move, can he? Well, we talked about Jackson being big and strong, and look at the quickness here. Mike Martz told us, right? He said, I'm excited to see this guy run, and so far he is not disappointed. I'll tell you, you got to see his strength on that run. It went up high on the pads of Steven Jackson, and Jackson just way too strong. When you think about just the offensive brilliance in that room, and sometimes in that huddle, there's a lot of people I can lean on. I had a lot of people to not only ask questions from, but to watch their day to day. When you have those kind of dynamics, I felt there was an ideal situation that I didn't realize it at the time, but it really paid off for me to have an extended career. Watch Steven Jackson just change direction in midair. He lifts himself up off the ground and just makes that cut. It is very apparent that Steven Jackson is the running back of the future here in St. Louis. Mike Martz, he took great pride in his offense. He wanted to make sure that every rookie you know, kind of paid the right of passage. He was hard on me. He was hard on me about learning the offense, not just the running plays, but all the things that made it work. So I felt I was overwhelmed mentally. But that first year, although it was one to build off of and build my confidence off of, it was one that I was very frustrated in because it was up and down. We went eight and eight. And that 2004 year was just, I wanted it to be over uh, a lot faster than it was. Consolation for the Rams. They became the first eight and eight team to win a playoff game, but that came to a resounding thud in this one as the Falcons started early and ran away. So going into the 05, Marshall, Mike Marsh and I, we all kind of had a discussion. Marshall needs at the time was just not going to be cooperative. Marshall Fogg taking the secondary role now and helping Steven Jackson. I think uh, Coach Marsh has seen enough to believe in my talent and you know, that chip on my shoulder never left. First thing I wanted to do was establish myself as a thousand yard rusher in this league. Steven Jackson right up the middle. Jackson with room. Finally forced out of bounds. And there's Jackson in the clear. And room inside, look at the speed outside. 40, 50. Big run by Jackson out across midfield. I cannot stress to you enough tonight to keep running the football. I would say in, in the in the Rams organization alone, it is very um, nomadic. It moves a lot. 
not only from city to city, but from coaching staff to coaching staff. On Friday, the Rams introduced the 22nd coach in the team's history. Head coach, he's Scott Linehan, a longtime offensive assistant, most recently the offensive coordinator in Miami. In my nine years there, I played for six head coaches. People come in with their new ideas, with their staff. I quickly learned that I had to be a calmness in the room for those new coaches. Day in and day out, we will work extensively to get better at uh, all areas of the organization, because that's what you do when you want to uh, get to where you want to get. You have Scott Linehan come in. Take care of the little thing. The details are your assignment. Okay, if you do that, then big things will happen. He was known for his offensive proudness, his ability to get the running back the ball. And I said, boom, this is the coach that is going to allow me to display all my talent. And I was going to be a man on fire. That is a big man. Big Steven Jackson with another stiff arm. It could have been 11 Hall of Famers on every defense. It was no stopping me. Jackson still on his feet. That's the kind of power that Steven Jackson brings to the table. Whoa, there he goes. Steven Jackson, the spot, and a speed. What an effort by Steven Jackson. What an effort. One cut and run through arms. If you got to take an arm with you, I was taking an arm with me. The handoff is to Steven Jackson. Jackson to the 25, the 20, the 10, out of bounds at the five yard line. See the opportunity, strike, and run through anything that was in the way. Jackson, oh, wow. And here is Jackson, who's looking to hit somebody when he gets the ball. Jackson reaches across, touchdown. Great effort, great effort by Steven Jackson. Coach Lanahan did a really good job of allowing me to get the rhythm of the game. Put it on a running clinic. Let's go. Running clinic one on one. Here is Steven Jackson. Jackson trying to bounce to the outside. Got there. Touchdown, St. Louis. Steven Jackson with Hedgecock leading the way. Bounces off a pile. He's still on his feet. Steven Jackson with all kinds of room in the upright running style has one man to beat. Knocked out of bounds inside the 10. The team was just gun hole coming in with eight man boxes. They were going to take the run away. He was always creative enough to get my hands on the ball down the field, be it screens. A little screen in the middle of Jackson. Heck of a run by Jackson. Now a screen to Jackson. Wow. He really coached the quarterbacks up on check downs if the progression wasn't there. Play action pass. There it is. Checks it down to Jackson, who lost the room. Here's Bozier, they give him time, and again he has to check down to his running back, and here comes Jackson. His main flowing as he streaks up the field at the 45-yard line. In that year in 06, catching 90 balls, I showed a lot of people in the National Football League that I could catch them down the field. Bozier with time, and again to Jackson. Stephen Jackson has caught a lot of passes out of the Rams' backfield this year. For Bozier, to his leading receiver, Stephen Jackson, Beautiful catch. Nice catch by Jackson. For the Redskins, 30, the 20. And Steven Jackson will take it all the way. 64 yards. Who said you can't catch a run out of backfield? Better tell the thing again. I had the speed to separate from defenders that were going to be, you know, guarding me one-on-one. -on -one. But also I had the ability to break tackles. If I'm catching the ball past that first initial wave of defenders, and it's just me in safety and me in a corner, good luck. Steven Jackson is not a running back you want to get into your defensive sector. He will flat truck you. Like an 18-wheeler that'll just come at you and put your head down and run over people. There are some things I miss about playing. I'd love to be out there on the field, but I would not want to be in Sammy Knight's shoes right there with number 39, Steven Jackson, coming at you. I remember reading that I was in the MVP hunt, Offensive Player of the Year hunt. I wouldn't say I was, there were peers um, that I wanted to say, per se, wanted to do better than, but there were definitely peers that I was watching. You have LT setting the benchmark at the position. I mean, look at these numbers. His 22 touchdowns this season, guys, are more than 18 NFL teams and exactly twice as many touchdowns as the Raiders team as an entire whole. At least four more rushing touchdowns uh, than every NFL team. And that's that's stupid. That's the only way to put it. Man. I mean, those numbers are, are ludicrous. Every time, you know, the, the game's over, of course, you run, you want to look at the TV screen. What did LT do that weekend? And it was just week after week. You just, you just continue to see that. 
So you had all these guys having these key things that you just know when they made a big play, a big moment, they had uh, their celebration. So my signature celebration was I, I rolled the dice and the football was the dice, right? That's touchdown, baby. That's, that's a win, that's a win. It was a nod to my hometown. A kid from Las Vegas, how lucky, right? Happy New Year's. We welcome you back to the Metrodome in Minnesota. Wet and rainy and cold outside. It is perfect inside. I remember in Minnesota, actually, uh, it was a game that I just felt everything slowed down. Offenstein, the tight end in motion. Jackson gets the call, sidesteps a man. Through the middle, to the 35. Jackson to the 40. This is Steven Jackson. He's got a hole. Jackson up the middle. The workhorse again. Jackson diving. Did he get in? Touchdown, it looks like, for St. Louis. Yes, he did. The confidence just, I just felt like it was just beyond me. That whole running back by committee, I wanted no parts of that. I didn't need that. I never wanted to come off the field. A little shovel pass to Jackson, trying to make something happen inside the five. Touchdown, St. Louis. And Steven Jackson gets in. Jackson towards the end zone. Touchdown for St. Louis. Steven Jackson. Steven Jackson again with the hole. Steven Jackson at midfield to the 30. Foot race to the 10, the 5. Steven Jackson with his fourth touchdown of the afternoon. I just woke up in pride, man. You just see the tears in my eyes that presented me with the game ball after that game. And I realized that I belong on the stage. Steven Jackson, 25 rushes, 142 yards, three rushing touchdowns, and one touchdown reception. Four on the afternoon. It's a big day. Guys only played three, three and a half years. So in my third year, to have that come out year, to catch the ball 90 times, to almost have a thousand and thousand yard season, I proved a lot to myself, you know, and that was that year that I needed for myself. You know, he might be the one guy in this league that has been, I don't know, you know, just flowing under the radar screen when you talk about great backs in the National Football League. Everybody is going to talk about Tomlinson of San Diego, Larry Johnson of the Chiefs, but Steven Jackson is having a monster year for St. Louis. I mean, what else do you want to say about the young man? I mean, he is one of the best backs in this league. If LT wasn't having an enormous record-setting year, this guy would even be getting more attention. You know, year after year, you can't break 500. You're not in the postseason conversation. On first down, he goes to Steven Jackson. Big hole. Four, a draw to Jackson, and he's through the middle. Steven Jackson, brilliant. a brilliant cross-field 42-yard run by Steven Jackson. When people talk about the great running backs, your name's not brought up because you didn't have that big run in the playoffs. You didn't have that Super Bowl moment. Steven Jackson becomes the Rams' all-time leading rusher passing Eric Dickerson. Professional sports is not ideal, they're not perfect, but if you just show up consistently, you can still make something happen, regardless of what happened around you. I feel that that blue collar worker, you know, that person that's watching the game, kind of identify that, and that's kind of where I just, I kind of reveled in.